classification of epithelial tissues right we will classify the epithelial tissues on different bases there are two uh, main important bases uh, through which we can classify the epithelial tissues right first the classification of epithelial we can classify epithelial tissues on the basis of cell shape and cells layers right and in last we will combine all these two classification and will get the whole classification of epithelial tissues right first the classification of epithelial tissues classification of epithelium on the basis of cell shape in previous lecture uh, introduction to epithelium we have discussed the shape of epithelial cells one is flat cells one is cuboidal type and the next is columnar so if rewind that uh, recap the types we have one cuboidal epithelium epithelial cell the next is flat and the next one is column right on the basis of cell, uh, cell shape if the cell shape is flat flat cells flat epithelium it will called the squamous epithelium right for example first one is squamous epithelium squamous epithelium squamous epithelial uh, cell shape is flat so now if the epithelial tissues have shape like that plate cells it will called squamous epithelium for example the nucleus in squamous epithelium will be present in the center right and all these cells will be lying on basement basement membrane this type of tissue is called squamous epithelium right if the cell shape is if the cell shape is cube like and the nucleus is present in center this type of epithelium will be called batao sawrani uko bas zara taliban kar pas ra dal kana right if the cell shape is cube like it will be called cuboidal epithelium cuboidal epithelium this is the next type of tissues on the basis of cell shape the next one is if the cells are these cells having more length than its width right and the nucleus will be present in base <coughs> if the cell shape is long right its length is more than its width it is called columnar cells and this type of epithelium is called columnar epithelium this is called columnar epithelium this is the classification of epithelial tissues on the basis of cell shape now the classification of epithelium on the basis of layers of cell <coughs> on the basis of layers of 
layers of cells right it will be classified into two types the first one is if the cells are arranged in one layer they will called simple simple epithelium right for example <coughs> the cells are arranged in one layer and the cell type is flat so this tissue will be called simple squamous epithelium right but if this uh, these cells are uh, arranged in one layer it will called simple epithelium then next stratified epi epithelium right in stratified epithelium the cells will be arranged in more than one layer right it will arrange in more than one layer but only this first layer will be lying on basement membrane this is called stratified epi epithelium on the basis of cell shape there are three types of epith epithelium the squamous epi epithelium having flat type cell this cell shape is flat right cuboidal epi epi epithelium and cuboidal cube like shape and columnar epithelium having long columnar cells why they are called columnar cells if we see into the table right these are rows they are called rows and these are called columns and the cell shape is like column therefore they are called columnar cells a co columnar epithelium now we will combine these two types and will get one specific type of epithelium for example if the cell shape is squamous flat and are arranged in one layer they will called simple squamous epithelium right so now first one we have simple squamous epithelium right and simple squamous epithelium we have flat cells we have flat cells and arrange in only one layer so they are called simple squamous epithelium simple squamous epithelium are present in cvs cardiovascular system they are present in blood vessels also present in gi tract etc right simple squamous epithelium right the next if the cell shape is cuboidal and are arranged in more than uh, one layer they are called simple cuboidal epithelium let's compare both the types if the cells are squamous and are arranged in more than one layer they will called stratified stratified squamous epithelium right for example we have this basement membrane now listen carefully right if we have cells like for example this is more than one layer there are three layers but all the three layers are shape wise different from each other this is cuboidal 
which is another type of shape circular and this is squamous but we will classify or we will uh, determine this tissue by this outer layer what types of cells are present on the outer layer it will classify this epith epithelium the outer cells are flat means squamous type so this is called stratified squamous epithelium and stratified squamous epithelium is present in these types of cells are present in glands also in uh, urinary system and gi tract right these are stratified squamous epithelium now this is cube shaped if this cube shaped cells are arranged in one layer they will called simple cuboidal epithelium like for example simple cuboidal epithelium simple cube in simple cuboidal epithelium the shape of cell will be cube like square and will arrange in one layer on basement membrane this is called simple cuboidal epithelium and simple cuboidal epithelium is present in gland ducts glands ducts in uh, stomach and one other thing gall bladder right and in some uh, spaces of uh, urinary system also the sim uh, simple cuboidal epithelium is present right if a cell shape is tube like and arranged in more than one layer it will called stratified cuboidal epithelium like for example stratified cuboidal epithelium right and stratified cuboidal epithelium the same uh, point is uh, other than outer layer there may be other shapes of cells but outer layer will be cuboidal so they will called stratified cuboidal epithelium like for example this is basement membrane and these are the the cells and outer layer is cuboidal so they will called stratified cuboidal epithelium stratified cuboidal epithelium a stratified cuboidal epithelium is present in gi and long ducts of sorry short ducts of glands right the next we have columnar uh, we have this is stratified uh, epithelium this is simple now columnar is remaining if the columnar cells are arranged in one layer they will called simple columnar epithelium this is very much easy right this is basement membrane for example and the cells arranged on this basement membrane are column like this is called simple columnar epithelium and if these columnar epithelium are arranged in more than one layer it will called stratified columnar epithelium right for example this red is basement membrane and we have an outer layer of outer layer of uh, this stratified uh, tissues is columnar cells so it is called stratified columnar epithelium right and these uh, stratified columnar epithelium are present in the long ducts of long ducts of glands right these are the simple classification of 
epithelial tissues. There are two another type. One is called transitional epithelium. Transitional epithelium. For example, uh, we are taking transitional epithelium. Seven. Here. Transitional <laughs> epithelium. Right. What is transitional epithelium? And transitional epithelium, their types of cells layers are present, which may be vary. For example, if I have three layers of cells, and uh, a specific type of organs or any location, and when they contract or change the shape, the number of layer become less, and when they relax, the number of layer become remain uh, again regain. Right. For example, in urinary bladder, these transitional epithelium are specifically present in urinary bladder. When the urinary bladder is holding urine, the layers of transitional epithelium are less. And when there is no urine and urinary bladder, it become shrink. Like for example, I have this. basement membrane and I have cells this is an relax form having three layers of cells and when this organ is contracted for example it now become long right in constricted form the cells layer become two right this third layer is emerge in this these two layers and it uh, increase the length of the organ this is called transitional epithelium and they are specifically present in urinary bladder right the next thing is pseudo stratified epithelium Eight one is pseudo <coughs> stratified pseudo stratified epithelium. Pseudo stratified epithelium, it's look like stratified, but they are not true stratified. For example, I have told you that in columnar epithelium, the nucleus of the cells will be in base right for example i am taking a basement membrane here this is a basement membrane and we have different types of cells lying on this for example one it seems like then there are more than one layer of cells right but all the cells are lying on this basement membrane there is no another layer of cell this is this tissue which is look like stratified but they are not stratified in real they are called pseudo stratified epithelium and pseudo stratified epithelium are present in trachea trachea and bronchitis right for example this is trachea and this is bronchitis two lungs in bronchitis and this trachea pseudo stratified epithelium is present right the next is a uh, keratinized epithelium and non keratinized epithelium right for example we have uh, simple stratified simple squamous stratified squamous epithelium stratified squamous epithelium and on the outer layer of this simple stratified squamous epithelium for example here i have a tissue this is stratified simple epithelium and on the outer layer of this tissue there are some cells present which are membrane less uh, which are nucleus less having no nucleus 
if they are present these proteins these are specific type of proteins and called keratin <coughs> proteins right this tissue is called in which the membrane the nucleus less layer of tissues of keratin protein is present this is called keratinized keratinized epithelium and keratinized epithelium is present on the outer layer of skin the epidermis mean in epidermis there are keratinized epithelium is present all the other dry surfaces of body also have keratinized epithelium right the next if this is for example the basement membrane and having cell these are squamous cells and these are simple squamous cells an outer layer there mean there is no keratin proteins are present in this tissue this is called non keratinized epithelium because there is no keratin non keratinized epithelium and non keratinized epithelium is present on the wet surfaces of wet surfaces of body for example oral cavity oral cavity is wet eyes vagina etc these are the wet surfaces of body and in wet surfaces there is non keratinized epithelium non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium keratinized stratified squamous epithelium right so this, this is all about the classification of epithelial tissues any question up to here oh. hmm? simple columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium is present in nephrons it is present in nephrons and gi some parts of gi tract the basement membrane finishing with the cartilage no 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 basement membrane juda why basement membrane is present here why basement membrane is necessary because this basement membrane allowing this nucleus this uh, tissue to connect to other organ it will be connected to other for example uh, if this uh, epidermis is uh, connected to the dermis layer of the skin or the whole skin is connected to the connective tissues to blood vessels and adipose tissues right so therefore there is no separate separate if we have separate uh, basement membrane there uh, uh, this type of epithelium well divided into simple epithelium not stratified now be stratified nahi kana stratified chi pade ke ba payo basement membrane bane more than one layer simple ji kami pai ke payo basement membrane ye layer hai bale sa sa question in okay sha bana na wala सिलिएटेड नाउ खुदा दे खौ इज द सिलिएटेड हम पगे डिस्कस को हां सही ना वी हैव अनदर टाइप्स ऑफ सिंपल एपिथेलियम इफ देयर आर सम हियर लाइक प्रोजेक्शंस प्रेजेंट ऑन दिस आउटर लेयर्स दिस इज कॉल्ड सिलिया सिलिया नाउ दिस एपिथेलियम विल बी कॉल्ड स्ट्रेटिफाइड सिलिएटेड एपिथेलियम stratified ciliated or ciliated stratified epithelium and ciliated epithelium uh, present in respiratory tract it is first line of defense for invading organisms which are coming from outside to body right it holds that bacteria virus or any type of dust right also the ciliated uh, epithelium columnar epithelium ciliated columnar stratified for example Uh, this is this cuboidal certified cuboidal epithelium having cilia is present in the polyphian tubes and polyphian tubes there is ciliated epithelium which allowing uh, or which inhibiting the outflow of sperm uh, sperm 